it's a tool to prove any statement okay any statement but the statement of course it would be mathematical statements any mathematical statements if you want to prove you can prove with the use of mathematical induction induction okay so let's take uh, one statement suppose let's take s of n uh, suppose let's take a question only so suppose i am giving you a question 1 plus 3 plus 5 up to 2n minus 1 is equal to n square okay so this is a statement so now i am writing the solution how you will have to write the solution so let statement is equal to 1 plus 3 plus because mathematical induction works on statement so i have to write in the statement form yes clear so the first step is see there are three steps in this first for you have to prove this statement for n equal to 1 then n equal to k and then n equal to k plus 1 so there are three steps involved in this okay yes so now i will start with step 1 for n equal to 1 so because i have substituted n equal to 1 so what i will write s of 1 instead of n i will write s of 1 okay so s of 1 what yes. it will be if i'll substitute over here 2 into 1 minus 1 minus so it's the first step only one so is equal to 1 wherever there is n i have to substitute 1 so 1 equal to 1 so s of 1 is true for or you can write on s of n the statement is true for n equal to 1 yes clear now yes. we'll assume now we'll assume ke the value of statement is true for n equal to k so let's assume s of n is true for n equal to k so now what will be s of k then so this we are assuming that it is true okay so it's 1 plus 2 uh, 1 plus 3 plus 5 up to 2k minus 1 that is equal to k square up till now everything is clear yes sir okay so now this to we have assumed that this is to just have substituted instead of n i have substituted k okay because these are the basic steps involved for mathematical induction so now to prove now we have to prove s of k plus 1 to be true okay so now to prove s of k plus 1 to be true what we have to prove s of k plus 1 what we have to prove s of k plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 so there will be this till this much step to we it will be there to instead of k what i will substitute k plus 1 pay attention over here yeah. wherever there is k i have to substitute k plus 1 so it's now should i start with lhs 
because I have to substitute, I have to prove this part to be K plus 1 the whole square. So I'm starting with yeah. LHS, left hand side, 1 plus 3 plus 5. So that is, uh, if we simplify this, 2K plus 2, 2K plus 2 minus 1. Clear, no? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm just writing the LHS part. Now the RHS is K plus 1 the whole square. So 1 plus 3 plus 5, 2K plus 1. So when I have simplified this, I got 2K plus 1. Yes. Clear? Yes. So now, what will be the previous step before this? See, before 3, there is 1. So what will be the previous step? 1 plus 3 plus 5. 2K before minus 2K 1. Plus 1. It would be 2K minus 1 plus 2K yes. plus 1. Okay. So I'm writing this equation because this is already true. We have assumed that this is true. So the, I'm writing yeah. this is 1. This is the first equation. Okay. So now pay attention. Now, instead of this, can I write like, can I write this as k square? Yes. Perfect. So it's k square plus 2k plus 1. So what should be the value then? What should be the next step? Factorize it. It will become k plus 1 square. Perfect. So it would be k plus 1 square. So which is equal to RHS. Hence LHS equal to RHS. Hence we have proved the statement. Clear? Should we... Jump to the next one. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, but in the second statement, you assume to be true. What if it wasn't true? Okay. So this, this, it's basically what I did. Instead of N, I just wrote K. I am not, I am not assumed anything out of the, out of anything that is oh, not okay. mathematically inappropriate. See, in mathematically, that, that's just a change in variable. Yes. Okay. But this mathematical induction, this three steps, no, that is by default, that is a postulate that you have to follow these three steps. Yeah. Okay. So now yes. next one, you try down and uh, I will give you the question. Two plus four plus six. 2n is equal to n into n plus 1. n is an element of natural numbers. So, so the question comes like this. Use mathematical induction. To prove.
Yes, sir. Got it. Got it. Can you just uh, share that screenshot uh, or your, the photo of that so that I can see the solution? In yes. our group only, you can share it. Yes. Send. Okay, yeah, I will check that. Uh, meanwhile, just try down this question. Slowly, we are. I will increase the questions, the the level of questions. Okay. Yeah.
you are able to solve or should i help you out oh, i am so. on the last one i've almost finished it okay Yes, so done. Okay, uh, just share the uh, image of that so that I will check and meanwhile. So you have completed this both questions, huh? Yeah, I finished both. I didn't do the last one. Okay, okay. So yeah, just share this both images and meanwhile, if later on, we'll start with this one. This is a little tricky. One. Yes, sent. One. Let me check. Okay. So next, you just try down this one. One, one factorial. What's that sign? Okay, factorial. Okay. So I will explain you that. This question I will do first. And then, okay. So now pay attention. Suppose if I am writing... Uh, this is a factorial sign, okay? So if I'm writing five factorial, so what is the answer of that five into four into three into two into one? So the answer would be okay. 20, six, 120. Okay, we can also write like this, pay attention. Five, can I write like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm adding a new question. Uh, so pay attention, I am writing three. Okay, so what you will write? 3 into 2 into 1. Okay. So can I write like this? 3 into this 2 into 1. Can I write like this? 2 factorial. Yeah. Okay. So any numbers can be written like this. Any 7. So you can write like this. 7 into 6 factorial. Or you can write like this. 7 into 6 into 5 factorial. Clear? It depends. Yes. Means what application you want to use. How you want to use this factorial. It depends on question to question. Yes. Okay. So now let's try this. So what you will do for first step is let this first step will write that in the statement form. Let S of N equal to 1 into 1 factorial plus 2 into 2 factorial. So for n equal to 1, so s of 1 will be just we have to substitute one, 1, correct? Factorial 1. Yeah. So it's just 1 into 1 factorial. Here it won't be equal sign. Pay attention, it would be just a. So 
clear so yeah one is equal to two factorial minus one so again two factorial is two only two minus one one so what we'll write s of one is or s of n is true for n equal to one for n equal to k s of k will be equal to So now we'll start with RHS. Okay, so what will be the previous step before this? So it would be one I'm into one factorial plus two k k factorial plus k plus one k plus one factorial. So instead of this, what I will write? Pay attention. It would be k plus one minus one plus k plus one so now i think k plus one is common on both sides so what i will write k plus one factorial no uh, now just pay attention because we want minus one over here. So according to the LHS, we have to frame. So how will you do it? So this is the LHS. So we want minus one. So even I will take this minus one over here. So it's K plus one plus k plus one how will you do it uh take k plus one factorial common okay so I'm taking k plus one factorial as common. So it will get k plus two. Clear, no? Yeah. 
So now it's k plus two, k plus one minus one. Now what should I do? And the RHS is k plus two minus one. So now pay attention. K plus two into k plus one. That's k plus two factorial. Perfect. You can simplify that. So we have proved that is your LHS. Yes. So on your, मतलब just write this part over here because we are using ना, so it's k plus two factorial is equal to k plus two. Clear? Yes. So just share me the image now what you have written of this question. 